Oh, that was terrible. Special guest. Yo! Hey guys, we have our special guests are here with us again today. We have... It's actually the same day. Who, hey, hey, different day for me. Clearly we're wearing the same day. Ah, shit, sure. <laughs> alright. Um, we're going to talk about subway stories. And like our worst or best subway stories or experiences in New York City. Alright, I'll start. Let's see if you guys can top this one. So I'm getting off the uh, the 4 train, you know, Franklin and Brooklyn. And I'm um, trying to get off, go through the whole thing. I'm going upstairs... I see people turn right around. I'm like, oh, shit, I wonder what this is. There's a dude at the top of the stairs wearing only long johns pissing down the stairs <laughs> on people. <laughs> That's my story. It's short and sweet. But, but you can imagine a man only wearing long johns with his balls and dick out just pissing. I mean... A fucking, a fucking fountain. I mean, you know, I'm sure Anyone else? Anyone have a crazy one? Uh, uh, I have a couple crazy ones. Just one. Just one. Right, right. Just one. Uh, uh, mine's kind of disgusting. Yeah. I'll, tell, I'll tell the disgusting one. They're all going to be disgusting. Um, I was on the subway when I used to live in Brooklyn, like heading it back on the A train. And, you know, there's always like beggars on the street. I mean, beggars like, oh, I, I need money. I don't have food. Blah, blah, blah. There's one dude with a wheelchair rolls on. <laughs> it's true. Someone... Ro- rolls on and then the fucking, and he's like, Okay, guys. Um, I, I I haven't eaten in like almost twenty four hours. I'm, I'm I'm just like starving. Can someone give me some food? And he's like, all of a sudden, he's he like, look at his face. He's like, I'm like, this dude's up to some shit. All of a sudden, he's like, oh, dude, just like throws up everywhere. Uh, then all of a sudden, after he threw up, he's like, well, guys, I still need food. And like, you know, I just, uh, I was like, Are you fucking kidding me? This dude's I like, need it now more than ever. He's probably like on heroin or something. Really yeah, no, no, yo, I was ill. Yeah, it is. Whoa, whatever. That's, that's fucking... Well, I mean, it's not even over yet. This dude's rolling down. Some dude sees this. Just opened a bag of, like, pre-cut apples. And, you know, it's like a little, like, pre-thing. Oh, he shit. opened it. And, like, the guy kind of... The guy, like... I'm pretty sure the guy saw him open it. He handed this to the guy. like, dude, here's this. <laughs> the guy looked at it, examined the fucking bag of apples. And he's like, oh, sorry, I can't accept this. You already opened it. And then he, <laughs> I was like, you motherfucker! How dare you? Mm. How dare you? And the guy, he put it back in the guy's lap. The guy just stood up like this, like... Fuck you. Let's get off the train. Because like his girl's next to him. He's like, never. I probably would punch him in the face. If he he wanted to punch him in the face. Shit, yeah. That's my story. All right. Got ladies. Sarah. Sarah. <clears throat> okay, well, one time I went to the gym. It was really... She's still traumatized. Cold. It was cold. But I was wearing these sweaty gym clothes. I didn't want to take a shower at the gym. I was like, I'll just get on the train. It was the middle of winter, so nobody else was wearing shorts. So it was a packed train. I got in, and I had my headphones in. This this bum of politically incorrect. <laughs> the homeless man. <laughs> he was sitting there and, like, sort of saying something in my direction, but, I mean, people talk to themselves a lot on the train, so, you know. <laughs> So I ignored it because I had my headphones on. Then all of a sudden, I just feel this hand Ooh. coming up and down my leg. Ooh. Up and down. That's not just one. Yeah. That's I not, don't know that's not a mistake. See these legs. That's a, that's that's nice. She's got some nice gams up in here. Yeah, anyway, nice sorry. Things. I couldn't place. What did you, what did you no, do? Did you say anything? anything? Did you move? Did away? you move? What did you do? Well, everyone around me, there was like a circle of like wilderness businessmen standing around me. And I like looked at each of them in turn, like, what do I do? Like, do I. While he's still caressing your leg. He's still doing uh, <laughs> Oh my god! You didn't instant. go like, stop caressing my leg. It all just happened, right? It, it just happened. Like, like, yes, yes, I know. Yeah, all right, continue, I continue, continue. continue. Sorry. I was sorry. so taken aback that I didn't think to like yell at him or something, which is not my style. It's just anyway. so awkward, yeah. But. So what I did was I just I looked and the guy next to me was like <laughs> <laughs> And I just moved away and then like, <laughs> That was the end of that. Yeah, so. Oh like, man. But how were you able to sit next to him? Like didn't he smell? Usually well, I was do. standing. He yeah. was sitting in the chair or on the bench. Okay. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. No, no, we don't need any details. I was standing the st- quite close. The, the, story, the story itself is yeah, yeah, hilarious. You got it. You got you're, it. You're next. You're next. So, we'll see if she can top all of us. I think she it's might. like uh, 11.30 on a Sunday morning. You know, God's day. <laughs> God's day. <laughs> um, and I, it was, you know, like 103rd. And um, I just got done at a senior citizen home. 
volunteering. I was giving, the giving <laughs> yes, I'm giving the whole picture <laughs> of Stop. my purity that was defiled that day. <laughs> so I had just gotten done giving manicures to little old ladies at a senior citizen home. So little me is just walking down back to the train. I'm so happy because I did a good deed mm. and I got my manicures in. <clears throat> so I get down there and the train is just pulling away. I'm like, damn it, whatever. I'll just sit down, read my book. Life is good today. <clears throat> and if you've ever been at the 103rd Street stop, it's like a tomb downstairs. There's nothing. It's all concrete and tile. So I sit down on the bench. All of a sudden, there's this guy. He walks past me, sits right next to me. There's like four seats on each side of me. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you know what? Fine, whatever. As he's sitting down next to me, he kind of like, rubs up against me and it's like dead of summer i'm like you know what some people are clumsy <laughs> some people are you know his depth that's what i found like, yes. i rubbed my leg you know his his <laughs> like depth perception and like yeah, movement right. of body maybe he just didn't have full control of it right, right. you know we're not mistake. as we're not all as agile as i am <laughs> and uh, so he pulls his laptop bag <laughs> on his lap diagonally right here just kind of like, I'm like, oh, that's weird. You know, it's like your eye just is drawn because it's like they're creating a stage for Plus you. he's sitting right next to you and it's like six other seats that he could sit on, but continue. Yeah. Exactly. And then he's like kind of fumbling with the front of his pants. I'm like, you know what? I'm not a guy. Maybe he just has like, he has to readjust. Maybe it's like, Slippage. he has like a little itch or something that he's got to take care of. Like, I don't yeah. know. Do you, Will? Fair enough. Do you? Okay. Do you? And then all of a sudden, he whips out his little penis and Ooh. starts jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm fake laughing until, because I've heard the story already. But until I gross. realize what the fuck is happening, and I'm like, <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I go, What the fuck are you doing? I don't even know where it came from. I'm like, What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck are you doing? You think that's fucking okay? <laughs> And he, like, stops, looks at me, and is like, yo, like, didn't say anything. His eyes were like, yo, bitch, I'm just going about my <laughs> Sunday morning. How are you going to ruin my rituals? And I just, I'm, like, freaking out Did he still. finish? Did he finish? No, he just put it back in, uh, like, like it was nothing. He just, like, put it either. in, got up, just started walking away. Just started walking away. And I'm, like, sitting there. There's nobody there. I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. I get up. I start storming after him, and I'm yelling at him. I'm like, you fucking pervert! I go, you're nasty! You're nasty! <laughs> Not the best idea. Don't do that. Yeah, don't, um, don't chase people who whip the dicks out of you. Always that's, that's carry bad. mace. Um, Pepper spray So he starts dick, yes. going up the stairs. There's, like, up, and then you have to turn around, and he's at the second spot. And I'm, I'm like, hey! I'm fucking <laughs> talking to you! Turn the fuck around! Oh, my God. This is, and this then, is a crazy one now. He stops, turns and looks at me. Dead eyes. Blank. They're blank. I'm like, you know what? It's so long. <laughs> I know. It's long. I go, people want to hear all the details of this. I'm like, you know what? I think I'm good. I think I made my point. Turn around, walk away. Then I'm like, fuck that. I turn around and run after his ass and he's gone. And for weeks afterwards, all I could see was this tiny uncircumcised penis in my face. So the moral of the story is, watch out when you're near your subway. Take taxis, carry mace, and get circumcised. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely get circumcised. Say cabs, man. Trust me, the cabs save my life all the time. Fuck subways, especially in the middle of the night. Like, come on. All right, let's wrap this one up. All right, okay, peace. Sorry. This one's a good one though. Subscribe, <laughs> like, comment, see if you would like our guests. These are the Ask special them. edition. There's four people, double the time. That's that's acceptable. All right, peace. peace. Out.